Well, we are less than a month until Election Day, and 25 News is taking a closer look at the candidates and issues you will see on your ballot. Andy Weber shows us who's in the race for Illinois' 46th State Senate District. The race for the 46 pits 14-year incumbent and Democrat Dave Kaler against Republican challenger and Tazewell County Treasurer Mary Burris. The race, at least on television, has been contentious, both sides arguing over Kaler's record. The 46th includes much of Peoria, East Peoria, Pekin, and Canton, and stretches from Lewistown all the way to Peoria Heights. Today we asked the candidates the same questions, including what they want to achieve if either re-elected or elected. The PPP, the Payroll Protection Program, uh, helped a lot of businesses. That needs to be redone because uh, they've run out of that money at this point. Uh, we just need to make sure that we don't uh, unnecessarily lose businesses. No more taxes. Illinois cannot afford one more tax. Um, we have got to learn how to live within our means and stop taxing our way out of debt. We also asked why they should be the one to serve the people of the 46th. Burris says more needs to be done for those who live in the district. We have had far too many plants close. Thousands of good paying jobs have left just the 46th district alone. I think that I could vote for the people. Kaler believes he's done a lot for his constituents, including several infrastructure projects. Today we have uh, a new capital bill. Uh, we see that Route 24 that's going down to Fulton County is going to be widened to four lanes all the way down to Banner. Uh, that's critically important because that's, that's such a death trap. We also asked how COVID-19 has changed their campaign. Do see their answers? Find this story on our website, wek.com. For 25 News, I'm Andy Weber.